Alright, so this is the next one on the list. That would be France. And again, just to, just to speed this up, because I can't be bothered to... Wait. Um, here's typically their thing. Uh, their kind of garrisonable towers are still available. They also get pillboxes now, which are just a good defensive thing. These still have a shotgun. So you can just kind of build up walls like this. You still need units in them. And like before, they don't have any population limit. Their fortresses are able to kind of teleport people around. So they can even go underwater if they needed to. Uh, they're actually uh, one of the few that allows for some pretty interesting uh, leniency when playing against other people. Because, for example, they have one thing here. I'm just going to build a whole bunch of bombers to show it off as soon as somebody gets some anti-air here. And that is, when their planes are shot down, they are able to put together... Uh, well, not put together anything, they actually just parachute out. So they get uh, soldiers that can land in their place. For example, one time I got beaten pretty badly because what this guy did, he essentially put together, I think, like 50 planes and just put all of his population capacity into these planes. And I thought he was just an idiot because he had all of these charged straight into a uh, wall that I had made on my island with a bunch of anti-air things behind it. Because I kept losing over and over and over, everyone started to run out of resources, and it was pretty close to the end. Oh, also they get these lookout towers. Uh, they're sometimes useful, if used right. Held a lot cheaper than, uh, tower than towers, and they don't... Well, they're stealthy. They can just be stuck next to someone's base without anyone knowing about them. See so yeah, what this guy had done, he charged at my base and ended up winning just because he had all of these uh, soldiers intentionally shot down and then used them to use the landed soldiers to take out all the anti-air guns that were there. At which point uh, he was able to get a whole bunch of boats to land and take over anything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this guy out as it is. Uh, so these guys get our, our regular artillery, regular everything, just uh, slightly better. Uh, they get smokescreen shells for their artillery and these grenadiers. They get flamethrower units also, which inexplicably run very fast. I've seen plenty of situations where people were spamming uh, flamethrower units. Because they can run absurdly fast for some reason. At least it seems that way when they're in a massive crowd, and there's not much you can do about it. These guys are just typical foot infantry. These guys also have a smokescreen ability. I didn't see it used much online, but from what I understand, uh, it just destroys uh, range pretty much, like you might have seen in the last one. Uh, it forces the soldiers to just immediately run up on each other. So as far as transferring between fortresses, normally these have a capacity of uh, 40. But these guys, they have an infinite capacity. So you can just put however the hell many people I want into this. And they can just keep going and going and going and going. Okay, so these guys get raiders also. These are freedom fighters. They're just fast uh, hit and run units. Except they don't run, they just stop and shoot for some reason. Mainly a cheap hit and run. Digging for gold, I guess. 
As far as their upgrades, they get all this. And uh, increased HP for their buildings. Also get uh, price reduction for uh, all vehicles. And antiseptics, which make your guys self-heal faster. It's another one of their abilities if somebody's injured. Like, let's say this guy got messed up. He goes over here. Waits for a second, starts healing, and they heal very fast with that upgrade. Then come back, and attack here. This is a firebomb. It's a thing that spreads between buildings. And slash and burn, which burns trees. They set things on fire a lot. So yeah, by this point, this has a ton of units already in there. Already well past the normal limit. And you can see that they're available at both uh, things now, so... All you have to do is build one fortress and you just have a sudden surprise invasion on someone. Also, this steals an innovation. So... Oh, no, they don't have them yet. But these guys do, so I can just take this. Let's see. These guys can be stuck in pillboxes. And they will fire their respective weapons. So there will be flamethrowers and whatnot coming out of it and bombs. And in addition to other things. So that's useful for what it is. Also, this is something they should have fixed, which is the airport endlessly telling you that it's full. Anyhow, now on to World War II. Oh, and by the way, this is enlistment. It reduces infantry costs. I forgot to mention during the Russia one, they can actually wa turn into like, little waddling bombs. And it does look pretty funny. I should probably set them up on the next one. So. World War II, now they get saboteurs. Uh, these guys can put a bomb anywhere. Explosive charge, which uh, makes it impossible to mine a place for a while. I'm gonna stick a couple of these over here just to show those off. And then the last ability is this bomb. So they just set, a, set this bomb here. Supposedly run off. Cost quite a lot, but it is their nuke. As you can see, this building got taken out, and I got an infantry guy from it. Speaking of, these guys now get upgraded. Next up, tanks, and they now have surveillance vans. They can't be seen except by towers, and you can sometimes manage to stick them somewhere just to watch a place. Their tanks now get upgraded to these weird looking things. These planes just got upgraded in the sky. And I probably should have not blown up the siege tower. Or siege place thing. Factory, there's the word I was looking for. Yeah, all this stuff is unchanged. This wonder gives random abilities. So now I just got a, an arson thing, use that here. Got some mercenaries, a recon. Gotta say, that is by far my favorite wonder. Something else is while these units are in here, they don't count towards your population cost. So if somebody that's playing Germany were to take a look at your units, they would think you were really way behind in the game because it said that you didn't have any better. So. These towers get more powerful with each person you stick in there. Now 
just to prove a point. This one guy is gonna go over here and end this red guy. The abilities that you get from uh, Notre Dame Wonder don't extend to just stuff your sim can normally have. You can have anything in the game at all and it'll randomly generate. So they allow for a lot of uh, leniency as far as tactics you want to use. So, right. Now I'm sending this one guy over here. Stick a fortress. Or two, they're the only one that it makes sense to have four, multiple fortresses for. <laughs> and then this happened. <laughs> tanks get, in, get the ability to run over stuff. Seems like something that would have been reserved for uh, Russia, but no. You can see I now have all these guys over here. hoping to do is have a few of them taken out by uh, anti air things. Now as far as these time bomb abilities that many of the ships get, they are much more useless than Rise of Nations. Uh, seeing as... Well, that's it. They're just useless. Um, the uh, buildings will will usually be able to take out said units, and if you have enough random fodder lying around to eliminate the need, uh, well, if you have enough units uh, lying around to eliminate any uh, possible attacks on said saboteur, which is the closest thing to the tower, so therefore the first thing it's going to attack. Uh, well, you're probably going to be done anyway. So there's really no use for that ability. Now, one thing to note is if you lose all of your fortresses while all these units are garrisoned in there, you, well, could lose several hundred uh, units. They might only drop infantry if they actually go down from minimum fire. Oh well, it's just two people parachuting, it's not much to show. So I guess that's it, thank you for watching this, and I'm going to move on to the next one.